Yeah. It got bad yesterday at 7 p.m. Y'all You don't know what crazy is. This is a.m. You You leave your alone. Now, 7 p.m. is the east side of the mountain. The what? Boulder Crest for sure. It's it's Boulder Crest and Gresham. Now, what exercise? Now, what exercise? Now, what exercise? October is over. I survived squat October, y'all. I made it here four weeks in a row of extreme squat ass workout. Don't have a quick Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Brittany Shay from the A. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So it's an early morning start, you guys. I just finished Squattober. If you don't know what Squattober is, it's a full month of squats, butt, leg workout that we do at the gym. And this was my first month completing it. It was crazy, but even though today I have to pod and normally I have been going to the gym in the evening I was like I'm getting up at 6 and I'm gonna make it there at 7 so I can complete squats over and I have completed so now it's a pod day I gotta run home take a shower get changed luckily I packed all my stuff yesterday so like all my clothes and stuff is already picked out I just gotta throw on something go to the studio and get in makeup and get ready for an amazing day of mommy and me podcasting and of course I'm gonna take y'all along with me so let's do that y'all spend some time with God this morning because 
life is just moving and transitioning and I'm feeling like God is telling me to make some U-turns in my life and um, I've been going down different paths and I'm now I'm trying to reassess whether or not the paths that I've been going down glorify God or do they just glorify me? Do they work for God or do I just think they work for me because if they don't work for God they don't necessarily work for me or work for my better but um, just trying to make necessary adjustments make turns and reevaluate everything everything a lot of things I just been doing out of habit or subconsciousness or comfort and right now it's I feel like God is pushing me to elevate and therefore I must push myself and take heed take heed to all of the directions signs and voices and things like not voices but notes that he's telling me and really don't just hear them but apply them so i'm in a season of application and you know taking one step at a time but taking it in the right direction even if that means completely completely busting a u-turn you know how you like driving down the street and then you realize oh snap i'm going the wrong way and you just bust that illegal you in the middle of the street that's what i'm doing i'm busting illegal u-turns right now to get back on track so let's get back on track and that's in every single way every single way of my life every form every rock must be lifted you know what i'm saying leave no stone unturned and don't be afraid one thing that i'm grateful for for my mom is like witnessing her shift and have to reinvent herself so many times in life you cannot be afraid to bust that u-turn in the middle of the street you cannot be afraid to reinvent yourself like who said you gotta be that way who said you gotta be that way forever who said just because you was that way you can't be another way you can reinvent yourself at any given point in time and it's really just up to you i don't care who used to know me you do not know me as of today i am someone else okay I am someone new. You have to get to know me today. I'm, I don't go for the same shit I used to go for. I don't accept the same shit I used to accept from myself, from nobody else, or from myself. So, therefore, I'm not going to accept it from you putting it on me, okay? I'm no longer that person, and I'm busting U-turns in the middle of the street on two wheels, baby. Skrrr! I'm out of there. Don't be afraid to bust a U-E on somebody or bust a U on yourself. You feel me? Let's get back on track. Let's have a great day. Okay, I made it to the studio. I'm opening up everything. I'm locking all the doors, making sure everything is good to go. Um, our set is pretty much set up. I think the first episode, it'll just be me and my mom, maybe. If not, it'll be three of us, so we'll just pull that other chair out. Just was taking a look at everything in the studio, walking around, making sure everything looked good. Janelle, the makeup artist, just got here, so she was setting up her stuff, washing her brushes, you know, and just was taking off all of the rooms. So yeah, I'm about to sit down and just put on some music, cause these our mirrors are Bluetooth. So about to cut some vibes on to it. Oh, not your phone already being hooked up. Yep, already. Right. Yep, already. <laughs> already. I'm already, already, already hooked up to the to the thing. So I cut it on. Like trying to get back used to seeing my face without lashes. Oh, y'all look at this so pretty. Mm -hmm. Janetta beat my face down, chum. So now we setting up and my mom is on the way to get her makeup done. And yeah, pushing through. Well, we ain't even started yet, but Girl, it's gonna be a good day, through. right? We still pushing through. <laughs> Don't y'all like the wall? It's Courtney with the Starbucks. It just looks so good. Okay, since we don't have a wardrobe yet, I go through what my mom brought and I try to match what I brought to her. So we, we don't clash or look crazy on camera together. Okay, that is a wrap on filming day, mom. Yay! We back in <laughs> another great mommy and me pod day in the books. We had some really great interviews today, and I can't wait for y'all to see and hear these because I don't cry. I almost cried multiple episodes. So now we gotta pack up and get up out of here. I turned it off right there. Yeah. But this one's on right here. Oh, the pink at the top. Okay. Uh, let's see. Red. 
Yeah. I think it's on the back of it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a little switch. Just turn it off. They, they're gonna break it down. Uh, 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 uh. That's not off. You a switch. Turn, turn it back up. And there's a switch right there. It's a, a little clicker. It's uh, at the bottom here. Up top here. Okay, if I can see it, then I can know where to reach for. You, you see, like where it plugs in right there. It's like right to the right. Mm -hmm. there. Right there. There you go. There you go. Uh -huh. All right. Got it. First of all, we just had a dope interview, and I can't wait for y'all to hear. Now y'all know I ain't mm -hmm. sit down with nobody. Mm. But it's brief. But well, I'm the real hood Oprah. Yeah, no, I'm not the exclusive. Okay. <laughs> I had to come fuck with my girl. <laughs> yes. Hey guys, as you see, I took myself like on a little date this afternoon. Um, after my really great well I can't tell y'all about it but just remember it went down today and then I'll fill y'all in on what it is later when I can talk about it but anyways tomorrow is one music fest here in Atlanta of course you know I'm gonna take y'all along with me but I came home after taking myself on a lunch break and I was supposed to pick out what I was gonna wear tomorrow and Sunday but I crashed and fell asleep so here I am now I just woke up from my nap it is 11:45 p.m. I have a makeup appointment at 10 a.m. and I just want to go to that dress because after the makeup appointment I'll be going straight to the festival to do interviews and kick it at the backwoods lounge that they're gonna have there they're gonna be inviting artists over I'm gonna be doing the interviews with Carlos and the entire 85 South team which is really dope because we've never officially we worked together somewhat at the revolt world but we didn't work like in the same capacity like he was at one stage at revolt world and i was doing other things at revolt world so this time we're working together and i'm excited trying to figure out what i'm aware because i know from hosting one music fest previously with the radio station that it's a lot of walking so i can't wear heels but i want to be cute but i want to be comfortable and i know it's gonna be hot let me see what the weather is actually alexa what's the weather like tomorrow So a high of 80, a low of 50, but that 50 won't be till the sun go down. So I could take a jacket for that. So I'm trying to find stuff that's like light. I know they also will have 85 South merch there just in case I want to throw something on. So yeah, this is one option. It's like this cute like legging. It, it'll look like a bodysuit on. I could wear this with either the crop and like a sleeveless i could wear this with gray sneaks comfy or let me show y'all these other my jays they downstairs let me go grab them oh wait let me see if these new balance ones go nah not the same blue i got these but they don't match that don't match that be right back maybe these because it's like the exact Oh, maybe these this could be an option for sure I like that I like that a lot and I could just take a black or I could take that cute little leather I got from um from Mika's or I'm gonna give you another option I could do this button down that button down that I got from Mika's and you know it's like high in the back with some jeans and some Milano jeans and I could try to do these let me see I don't like the way that looks though it's blue and white I wouldn't go back with the same ones but I do have these I do have those as an option or let's see or i could go with gray or white forces or i could go with this dress this dress in those first j's i could go with that um hmm. 
Hmm. One second. Or had these like black faux leather pants and this black and white crop from Mika's. But I don't know if this is giving like too dressy. I mean, you could have dressed it down with the sneaks. Like with the gray and black forces or some boots or something. But it's kind of giving this going to make me hot. Like I want to be comfortable for sure. Like super comfortable. It's a lot of moving parts to this tomorrow. So, so far I think it's that first option that I showed y'all. Because my cycle just came on and today my stomach hurts. And I just don't feel like wearing nothing that's going to have me hot, irritated, or uncomfortable all day tomorrow. So, I ain't really finna put too much work into it. I really think it's going to be this option. I think I'm going to go with this and the J's. Yeah. Because it's stretchy. It's cloth. If anything get on this shirt, I'm sure they'll have an 85 South shirt that'll match these leggings. Like, it's giving this. I think it's definitely giving this outfit. For sure. And that's just that on that. I'm actually just going to carry the same gray, like my Marc Jacobs tote, so I can carry and throw everything I need in that bag for tomorrow. Because it's going to be a long day. And it's midnight. I'm not going to overthink it. That's what it's going to be. So, let's get ready for bed. And let's just get ourselves ready and mentally prepared for the long day that we have tomorrow. Because I'm taking y'all with me. So, y'all need plenty of liquid. See, I'm drinking my water. Drink your tea. Because we're going to be in backwoods. Blowing it down. You know? So, we need to be hydrated. Okay? Alright, well, I'm going to see y'all in the morning. Alright, babes? Good morning, guys. It's 10 30 a.m. We getting our yep. makeup done. Janelle beating his face. Hey, girl. Looking like the house. But it's all right. Yes. No, we in. It's early on a Saturday, so they probably look like this, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we getting ready for one music fest. I told y'all I was going down today. I'm going to be hosting the Backwoods Lounge. All the artists coming through. It's going to be like 85 South themed. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Like how the set look. Because you know they set already dope. So yeah, I'm getting this makeup done so I can be cute on camera. I already like this. Look at it. Yeah. I'm excited we got a good go-to in the bag look. Oh, I'm sliding. <laughs> I'm scooping this slide. No, I seen this meme that had me cracking up. It was like, if you gotta scoop twice to get off the couch, then we're going walking today. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, why do we have the scoop sometimes? Like, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get up for real. I'm dead. It's all right. Good walk. I ain't never hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. Me and Janelle was just talking about going on a walk. I told her that I would love to go like on a walking date. Maybe a little picnic. Maybe stop at a little restaurant or something I'm, I'm along the way. I'm down for a picnic. I would definitely do a picnic. Picnics are cute. They're very, very cute. Yeah. You know what? That's what I think is actually missing in the dating part. Like everybody talking about how expensive the date could be. But nobody's trying to show how much thought they can put into the date. Right. Like a picnic. Like you said, you do got to worry about what is this person allergic to? What's their favorite snacks? Yep. What they going to like the? What are we going to do while we eat it. You gotta think about activities y'all gonna do. Mm -hmm. Like it's a lot. It's a lot. That's a very thoughtful thought out day. This is the finished look, guys. We be. We cute. Cute, cute. See, this is my signature. This is the Ray Renee. This is the Ray Renee. When y'all book with you now, tell me you want the Ray Renee. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. <laughs> hey, y'all. We just got to the park. We about to go through. We just got our credentials. You know, it's like top flight security out here. You know, we about to go through the little detector. So fire, look at the set. 
one thing about it, Los Del gonna always have some Marvin Gaye on the wall, okay? There's always gonna be some Marvin Gaye in the building. Biggest in the game, like Mary, Summer Walker, 
Lotto, yeah. Lil Bay, like her pen is crazy. Yeah. But now you. I uh -huh, but uh, right now, it's all about this. This R&B that I'm bringing back, you know what I'm saying? The R&B, I'm so happy to be on this stage, man. My first festival in the A. That's what I was about to say. Now you on a stage being an artist. artist. How that right. feel to see that transition in your career? Uh, it's um, it's so dope because I just feel like the people that support me, like, they really like, grassroots fans. Like, I'm really building like people that like, see the evolution of Jazzy. You when know, I used to have big hair, I used to be a little chubby, you know what I'm saying? They see all uh, Jazzy. That's the girl I know a lot about them. I do. I do. You know can you I mean? roll? I can roll too. Damn, you light skin and you can roll. I'm light skin and I would light skin people can't roll. I mean, you know, pretty girls, they, you know, y'all gotta, girl. do, now, I don't don't gotta do a lot. you right. So, don't have to I do know lot. how to roll, but I do prefer <laughs> if whoever I'm smoking with roll up for me. Well, I know. That's just a pretty girl privilege. <laughs> you, know what I know. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm chilling 85 South, Backwoods, Backstage, One Music Fest, and we here, man. Yeah. What you think? As every man out here, every man has heard a woman ask him, what you smiling for? What you smiling so That's hard the at? most abusive thing y'all can say. Smiling <laughs> is a crap, lady. That's because you will be in your phone. So it's like, who texting you that got you cheesing with all 32? Do you teams? understand that as a man, you could be in your phone and see a truck there to make you smile like that? A truck. A car. An engine. An engine. One of them crazy ones, one of them Dodge Rams with the with the 4.0 in there. See, she like trucks. I don't buy cars. Not to have a favorite truck. Do what? I don't have a favorite truck. You don't? Mm -mm. That's what I'm saying. It ain't always a woman that's making a man smile. It's it could a be. Truck. We get we get amused by the smallest of things. What you think the smallest? thing that can make a man, every woman can do like today to make their man happy. Something small. Something small? Yeah. Just let that man smile in peace. <laughs> Whatever he doing and he peaceful, don't just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Just give your man just one hour. Put it out. Be like, I'm putting it out now. But Greg, don't never just put your shit out and be like, oh I'm sorry. Respectful, but respectfully. Yeah, I don't do that. You gotta hit at least two more times. I know how to smoke where well. I'm supposed to smoke. All smokers do. What's the rules for that? How you smoke when you ain't supposed to smoke? I just told you. you but gotta, how you gonna sneak it in? First you, first you gotta just blatantly smoke. Just act like you just regular and just smoke. Yeah. Until somebody personally come up to you and tell you. And they gotta have authority. It can't be somebody else. <laughs> Like, hey, you can't smoke. No, I'm not listening to you. I need somebody with a lanyard on to say, hey, hey. <laughs> it says right here, no smoke. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to act like I ain't see that. You'll see in a minute. I'm just acting like I don't know. They ain't tripping today, though. But the police do right there. Right. I don't be wanting to sing the whole. I want to sing along with you, but I definitely, as an artist, want to see you sing the song. Yeah. <laughs> but I like, see, no, but I was back to what you were saying about like the friends thing and the vibe and the energy. Like, I feel like you cannot be, if you a friend or somebody that's hanging out with an artist, like, you definitely got to be mindful of the energy yeah. that you're bringing around before mm -hmm. hand. You can't be on no weird stuff. Right. You can't be doing too much. Mm -hmm. Like, they say, scan the holes. Right. Okay. Right. Bring the vibes to me, please. Yeah. Yeah. Easy, make that day as light as possible. You know they gotta perform it. Like you said, roll up. We were talking earlier, right before we started this, about how y'all let those guys come on the show and give bad relationship advice. 
when can I come on there and give some bad relationships? Listen, y'all, I told Carlos, I don't be listening to nobody. Listen, my biggest thing is show and prove. So I don't care what you talk it's about. For sure. Until you show some proof of what you actually do, Jesus could come sit right here. Let me see. But I feel like let them talk so we can hear what they're doing. In front of my face. So the date list should have an age oh. So it's like first dates for like college. Right. This is a grown woman. You feel I think this right. discussion Absolutely. would go a whole lot further. Yeah. That's not my thing. I like, 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 like you. I'm like broke. I can't do all that extravagant <laughs> shit this week. Be honest. What yeah, you said, the guy should just say that. Okay? Yeah, just say it. Like, yeah, be right, honest. Look. You're beautiful. I'm not about to do all of this. I'm, I'm fucked it's up coming, this babe. week. I got you. But I like you. Right. Stay right there. Yeah, yeah. I can't take you to buy this expensive food. Not but yet. if I didn't do it, what would you have ate today? <laughs> Let me take you Ooh, there. Yeah. Okay. What would you was going to eat already? What would right. you, it's Wednesday. Why, you what would fine. you going to eat? <laughs> you knew you was going to stop and get Chipotle. Why can't take you to Chipotle? Why can't you take you to Chipotle? Why can't you to Absolutely. Get a margarita. Yeah, I, I know a man is supposed to come and upgrade your life, but sometimes I need to come and meet you on your level too. Yeah. So like you like Wendy's nuggets. Right. No. What y'all know goes the first day. I feel like sometimes though, if the more or extreme extravagant a guy is going, he kind of full of shit. Like he's trying to cover something. He overcompensating. Like you can go out your way, but like it's almost like that love bombing. Yeah. You know? oh, I agree. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, that might scare me because you're doing all this. Doing it's like what you trying to do? Yeah. Push? It's almost like you're trying to shit. force yeah. yourself. Music fest with none other than one of hip hop's greatest. The Jada King. One of the coldest niggas to ever do it. My boy Tax Stone said you can raise a child off Jada Kid's lyrics alone. None other than Jada Kiss. And I got my dirty boy partner in here with What's me up, today. Man? My brother in radio. Come on, man. What's happening? This is Kiss, man. It's 50 years of hip hop, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's lit. Why? There's a whole lot of hip hop shit going on right now. How y'all doing today, man? Amazing, man. Backwoods, backstage, one music fest. How you feeling? Feeling great. Weather is great. You know, my people looking beautiful. What more can you ask? What more can you ask for? We here live at the One Music Fest. Now, Kiss, you know for putting putting something in the air, man. And it's only right that you come over here and talk some shit at the Backwoods Lounge. No doubt. How long you been fucking with the Backwoods, G? Uh, a few years now. Um, you know, I started like everybody else. I started with Phillies, then Dutchies, and then Trans, I transformed over to the backwoods. You gotta get professional with rolling backwoods. First. I was about to say, what was <laughs> yeah, that like you, learning? Yeah, rolling it ain't the easiest thing in the world. You gotta, you gotta really be a roller. Dude. Be skilled. Yeah. Cut the edges off. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wet it. Yeah, paper towel. Yeah, yeah, that get cut off, I might just put all them together and make, <laughs> make one flat leaf. You know, I, we're just kicking some ideas around right now. Co-host with me, Miss Brie Renee. Brie Renee, straight from the A in the building. And this is a different type of intro because T Pain, his family at this point, is always fun and he's always a, a, a great interview. And, and now we're just talking shit like first cousins. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. First cousins that see each other around. Exactly. There are a lot of first cousins that don't really talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> no, not like, no, not like, I'm mama like, foofy. Right, absolutely. Yeah. 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 They made us, they made us be sleep on this, just so they can go out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they can go but out. man, I gotta talk about this first and foremost, because you've been going up on the social media with your Twitch uh, stream, yeah. with the T-Pain podcast, and, and those two together on top of the videos and the music <laughs> and the behind the scenes and the TikTok. Yeah. And your presence is there. At one music fest. It's yeah. Big. And I feel like we got a real treat because we got a, a special guest that we didn't even know was going to be here today. I mean, Mr. fucking Keith Lee. <laughs> I'm cool. sorry. I was thinking. Keith and Miss Ronnie. Yes, sir. Ronnie Ronnie Lee. Sir, that's yes, sir. What, that's God is I mean. amazing. It's an honor to be here. I, I can't even put this in the words. I can't even put this in yes, words. Yes, you can. I can't. Because <laughs> everybody's waiting. For sure. Again, this is one of the things I've wanted to do. I don't have a bucket list. I don't really have many things I want to do for real. But talking to you, DC and Chico Bean, the pandemic, she was pregnant. That's all I would watch. All I would watch. I would really? Watch. No, no. I swear. I would not lie to you. 
Brother. When you ask to do this, I'm like, I don't do interviews with nobody. I'm a very quiet, sitting with my family, sit in the corner, eat food kind of person. But with you, absolutely. And T-Pain just walked off the stage. Gotta do that. That's Mandatory. First of all, man, I got to salute you for the good things that you are doing Love. out here for these people. You blessing people left and right Love. on the food thing. And, and, you know, like we had the pandemic and people were trying to recover from that. And just by you stopping through and letting people know that you like it and support it, you brought so many people back and you've given back so much of your blessing. And that's why you're going to always be blessed, brother. Look, man, I believe in God. I'm just a vessel. And I've said that and I'm going to continue to say it. I just eat food. I eat food. I pray. I stay with my family. I don't do nothing. And then I go, and it's going to be people in the comments like, you should have went here. You supposed but to But what I'm here. saying, say for instance, you go to American Deli, uh -huh. but you don't go to the right one. We just arrived day one. It's lit. We came out here to just buy by. I think Janet about to go on stage in a little bit. They got to be My bro Ferrari up there. My girl Jalisa for me, girl. Yeah. Checking in with my favorite media bag. It's day two, y'all, of One Music Fest. My camera is so broke, and I can't even really see. Hold on, y'all. Day two, cute little dress, sneakers, 85 South shirt. You know, we're keeping it simple. It's outside, it's hot. So yeah, let's head to the park and get situated. I'm so sleepy. I'm, it's like one o'clock. I did sleep in a little bit later. We're gonna push through. My assistant is bringing me some Starbucks so I can wake it on up. <laughs> Janelle did my makeup again. All right, y'all. Let's go kill day two of One Music Fest. Fest to brands for, for years. You know, but the problem is the people that was in those in those offices that we were talking to don't look like us. Right. So they don't understand it right. We set the trends. You know what I'm saying? From goddamn the, 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 the TVs in, in, in your car. We was doing that. Before it was called the entertainment package. 20s. 20s you is know, stock before, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you, you want the factory package or you want the sport package? Well, we started that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we set the trend, but we don't get credit for that. You know what I'm saying? So certain executives understand our importance to the culture, to, to, to economics, to the economy. So they understand the importance of, of what we're doing here uh, in black culture altogether. I think it takes other black creatives like yourself that start ideas to make sure they're intentional about incorporating us and highlighting us in the best way possible the entire way through. And I know that you also have like an HBCU background, graduating from FAMU, yeah. so did that, going to an HBCU ever shape your mind or thought process when it came to like shit. how you went about your business? I mean shit, changed my life going to FAMU, you know what I'm saying? I mean I grew up my younger years, I was in Harlem, and then coming to Atlanta, it still was a black experience. But I ain't never seen nothing like fam. Stop for a second and look now, she was like, wow, everybody black. That I can see, like, everybody where I can see is black. This is dope. We're working and we get money and we have fun and we enjoy ourselves. We save it. So it's like, even as adults, like you said, because we didn't grow up with it and see it, we're like, man, this is amazing. And it really empowers us as people to know that we can because I think black businesses or events sometimes get such a bad rep with our customer service or if we have the logistics down all the way right the first time. But yeah. what advice would you give to other creators, or entrepreneurs that started and that's like, hey, maybe I don't got it all together right now, but I'm trying to figure it out because One Music Fest didn't start at Piedmont. Nah, not at all. Uh, I would say persistence to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when y'all started the podcast, like how many... How many listeners? How many streams y'all get? Like, that's a real question. Ver versus like where we are like now. But I think the name of the game is consistency. You know what I'm saying? You man, you just went out here and rocked the stage for a good 20, 30,000 people. But for you to be so chill right now, how do you how you turn it up like that so high and then come right back to just chill and Glock after that? <laughs> like. This, this shit real, like, I ain't, I ain't faking, I'm just being me. Yeah. Like, it's just Glock. Is this your first time at the One Music Fest? Yeah, it was my first one. Yeah. What you think of it so far? I fuck with it, it's smooth. Still will turn. Yeah. That's what's up. Is there anybody that you really looking forward to seeing hitting the stage this weekend? Like, you like, shit, I wanna stick around just to see this person. I ain't even gonna lie to you, I don't even know who I'm in the lineup. Man, you should've been here last night. 
Straight but up. Janet Jackson was up in here. She had the thugs crying <laughs> out here, bro. It was some of the most, nah, bro, it was the most on, beautiful dude. shit you ever seen. Cause it's like, so you, you seen almost. But it was some titties okay. that popped out. So almost. You know, he, had, he had a thug tear. You know how your eyes, they fill up with the water, but, but it, it don't it fall. Don't fall. I yeah. think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Man, but it's like, I don't care who you are. Straight some up. people are just on another stratosphere. Whether you came here to see Kodak Black or yeah. who or Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. When when Janet Jackson hit that stage, it's like the whole Atlanta turned around, bro. It's yeah. hard though. It was dudes out there like, man, that Michael Jackson little sister. She need them flowers. She just got that effect. Yeah. You gotta keep it's so many moving parts. Like you said, you hopping off the you gotta transport here, get here, get in the yeah. wardrobe, do all that. Like, what do you do to get yourself mentally prepared to hit that stage? I just I just no matter what, I don't, I don't never worry. I don't never worry. Like, I'm real laid back and chill, even in the most treacherous moments. You know what I'm saying? So, right. this is how, this right. how I just stay calm. Ease my mind, too. Shit, I, fuck, I love Atlanta, you feel me? So, when Music Fest called, it's like, uh, my manager just told me the other day that uh, Atlanta like my top streaming city. Come on. And all that, so, you feel me? Hold up, we're going to celebrate everything in Atlanta yeah. around here. So, everything so. Atlanta around here. So, so. Man, this one of them cities that when they like you, they love you, man. So, yeah, yeah. what does that feel like to be at a home away from home and, and still be get the same love and respect as an artist? You know this shit feels just like St. Louis, bro. Like Atlanta is just bigger, you know, a bigger city, but it's it's fire, bro. It's it's fire, it's black, bro. It's a little different, like when your own boat with you too. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Like niggas can go all around the world and shit. And like you come back to your niggas like and they fuck with you, that's like the, the highest honor that you yeah. straight up. I would say as an artist, is that important to you for Atlanta to fuck with you and rock with you because it is represented by so many blacks in the culture? Yeah, yeah. Top mark? Yeah. For sure, for sure. And Fabo from here. Fabo? Yeah, yeah, I love Fabo. Everybody Fable. do. Oh, me. How could you not love Fabo? When you fall in love with Fabo, what was that moment for When that nigga you uh, start singing tatted up like that. <laughs> he said, Bob, bro. I was like, oh, shit. Bro, I, I had him on the show and I asked him who Barbara was. You know what Barbara was talking about? Who? Yeah. Barbara Bush. Wow. He said he just felt like she'd be tatted up and nobody would know it. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm thinking Barbara is some lady he dealing with. This is an old like white he, lady. I thought it was his grandma name, because that's my grandma name. No, he you know what I thought. I, I, Ooh, child, we had a time last night, you guys. When well, Music Fest was lit. You see, I'm still in my t-shirt. I fell asleep on the couch. Lotion's left. What is it? We had a ball, okay? Shout out to 85 South. Shout out to Backwoods. Shout out to my man. My man, my man, my man. Thank you, Carlos. Like, I have said it to him all weekend. I'm going to say it again. I said it on Instagram. I'm going to say it to y'all. But yeah, I'm so grateful to have a man that is a visionary, big picture thinker that is always putting together, like, major moves in the city, major moves for the people that he loves. Um, and just thinking past his own creativity and his own gifts to like how he can incorporate all the gifts and talents of everyone around him to like exemplify and you know put them in position and I'm grateful that he thought about me and put me in position with this Backwoods um, and 85 South collab. It was lit. It was so much fun at One Music Fest. I'm just so grateful. I just feel like everything is starting to come together for me, especially career-wise. And I'm blessed that people are starting to see the talent that I have. And sometimes seeing more than what I see in myself. And a lot of times you need, you have to take heed to that. You have to um, pay attention to the people who are pouring into you and loving on you and just believing in you. So I'm grateful. Thank you, Lowe's. I love you. He already know this, but I'm about to get myself together. So until next vlog, thank y'all for tuning in. I love you guys. See you next time. Oh, don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and like and comment and share my videos let's continue to grow we need way more country cousins out here y'all okay see you later